In this video, I am going to show you how to find the component form of a vector given its magnitude and the angle it makes with the positive x-axis. So again, this is a common exercise in many calculus books, and even trigonometry, and anywhere you encounter vectors, pre-calculus, and so on. So, the pieces of information given look like this. You've got your v. Okay, this is the magnitude, and you're told that if that is, for example, 3, and you're told an angle such as theta equals 0 degrees. And we want to express this vector in component form. So what this means is the following. We will take V, and you write it as the magnitude of V multiplying the unit vector given in terms of the cosine and sine function. Okay, so here we use two different colors to distinguish. The cosine of an angle, I, and then to it, we can add the sine of an angle with the j there. So this vector v is expressible as its magnitude which is given times this unit vector in the same direction. So let's apply this to this specific exercise so you can see it in practice. It's one thing always to talk in general terms but another to know how to solve specific problems. So in this case, this is what we are going to do. You take your 3 here, okay, and you write, and you do the following. Cosine of 0, i, plus sine of 0 j. Let's simplify this. So the 3 stays. The cosine of 0 degrees is 1. So what's left now is just 1i. Okay. Sine of 0 degrees, of course, is 0. So that disappears. And all that is left is this. Okay, 3 times 1i. Of course, we wouldn't write it in this form, so we simply write this now as 3i. So let's take a look at another example. Although these are fairly mechanical and routine, it's still best to practice several. And of course, you have to understand how to use the unit circle to get the values of the cosine and sine functions from it. Okay, say, let's take a look at another example. Say now you're given this following. Now the magnitude of V is given to you, and it's set equal to 2. And the angle theta is 150 degrees. Okay? So to express V now, using this concept, okay, it's magnitude multiplying a unit vector in the same direction, you do the following. V equals its magnitude, which is 2, and this multiplies the unit vector in the same direction, so that will look like this. Cosine of 150, and that is your i, plus the sine of 150, and that is your j. So now we evaluate the cosine and sine of 150 respectively. So those values are the following. Let me replace them. You got your 2. And a cosine of 150 is 
negative root of 3 over 2, and that is pi, and the sine of 150 here is 1 half, so that's a half of j. So it looks like this. So the next step, you distribute the 2 into the vector, so you have 2 times, and I'm just going to switch to one color now for the sake of simplicity. Actually, you know what? That can wait one more step. Negative 3 over 2i plus the 2 times 1 over 2j. Okay? I want to make all the steps super explicit and clear. Okay, so we've just distributed that 2 over to this component and that component. At this step, you may cancel. So this 2 and those 2 and that 2 cancel away. All that remains is the root negative of 3. So we'll have now negative root of 3, and that is your i. And then this 2 and that 2 cancel, and all that remains is 1j. Okay, so I'm writing all the symbols here so that you don't forget anything. Now, of course, in practice, you'd probably write this as negative root 3i plus just j. Okay? There we are, step by step. So this vector here is the vector whose length is 2 and makes an angle of 150 degrees relative to the positive x-axis. So if we were to draw a little coordinate system, we could illustrate, for example, this one over here, that's 3i. So that's your 1, 2, 3, okay? So this vector is an arrow of length 3 along the x-axis, like this. Yeah, there's your 3i. This one looks a little different. Once again, draw a little coordinate system. The x component is uh, negative root 3. So roughly that, that's uh, 1j. So maybe what we have is this. Okay, This is our vector right here. And it makes an angle of 150 degrees with the positive x-axis. There you go. So this is how you express a vector when you are given its magnitude and an angle that it makes. You use the cosine and sine functions and you multiply by the magnitude. This quantity here, where my fingers are, that's a unit vector. Its length is 1. You plug in for the angle, find the values of the function from the unit circle, simplify. Same procedure here, step by step by step. And that's it. Thank you for watching.